Hey everyone, just wanted to give an update on the wing design process. I'm sure a lot of you are curious about how that's been going. I posted some pictures on my Flickr a while back, but uh, if you check in the description of this video, there's a link to some newer stuff too. The first piece I made was an aileron and wingtip test piece, which you can see here. And it's a pretty simple pivot on four points, so that was not too hard to figure out. The two things that stick out of the bottom when it's all the way up are counterweights so that it remains balanced in flight. So I wanted to try and replicate those. I'm pretty happy with the shape and it looks pretty accurate to me. So I'm definitely confident in how this will turn out. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of a challenge to apply the skin. So I'm still figuring out how to do that. But overall, I think the shape that I have is pretty much on point. The next part, which was a bit more complicated, was the flapperon, which combines the functions of a flap and an aileron. I'm sure a lot of you have seen these in flight and you know, understand what they do. The pivots on two points below the wing, and then the flap run is connected to a small lip that sits forward of it, which you can see here, and it kind of operates in the reverse direction of the flap run so that when it's in full down, the lip lifts up and it allows air from underneath the wing to pass over the top of the flap run and increase the aerodynamic performance. I think that's what it does. If anyone has a better description, feel free to comment. The downward range of motion is limited by the two support arms that stick out of the bottom of the wing. They catch the flapper on at 35 degrees down. And then the upward motion is limited by the two outermost ribs, which stop it at 10 degrees up. So it has a 45 degree range of motion. So far, so good with the design. Stay tuned. I apologize that uh, it's taking so long, but I can only you know, go so fast with a project like this. Um, the inboard flaps are next, so hopefully I'll have an update about those soon. Thanks.